If you are into image upscaling software, you might be interested to know that ART Image Enhancer 3.0 was just released with new models and face recovery. And in this video, we're going to be finding out what has been improved and whether it is a meaningful upgrade. As a reminder, ART Image Enhancer is owned by a company called DigiRT and costs $99 for a lifetime of upgrades. To appreciate that price, we have to remember that the leader in this space and its main competitor, Topaz Photo AI, charges $200 for only a year's worth of upgrades and around $100 thereafter. So if the current pricing holds for both products, after five years, you would have paid around $600 to Topaz and only $99 to AIRT, a huge disparity in value, assuming of course AIRT continues getting upgraded yearly. However, let's now move on to the new features, starting with the updated model named More Detail Version 3, which is now the default model, although the previous Version 2 model is also still available. According to the company, the updated Version 3 model enhances upon the previous Version 2 model by improving texture, stability, and generating more accurate details for a smoother, clearer, and refined image. So is it a significant improvement? Comparing the results for images without faces, I honestly didn't see any big improvement, which is okay because both results are excellent. Here is the result with the more detailed version 2 model, and here is the result with the more detailed version 3 model. Here is another image using more detailed version 2 and more detailed version 3. Here is version 2 and version 3. To my eyes, the output looked similar even after pixel peeping and zooming in. On the other hand, when dealing with images with phases, the improvement is much more obvious. Let's look at a few examples to see the difference. Looking at this first example, you can see how the new version 3 model enhances the sparkle in the lady's eyes, which helps bring the portrait to life. A small but nice touch. Looking at the second example from a heavily cropped photo, you can see how the new version 3 model was able to reconstruct the teeth a lot better than the previous version 2 model. By the way, most upscalers do tend to fail this test, but the new version 3 model passes it with flying colors. Here is a third example which similarly shows an improvement in the way the teeth are rendered. Looking at a fourth example, you can see how the new version 3 model reduces the unsightly halos present in the hair and eyebrows of this lady. The same improvement can be seen in this fifth example where the halos in the model's eyes and ear have been reduced in the version 3 model. So as you can see, a lot of good work has been done by the AIRT team rectifying the weakest aspect of the previous version 2 model, poor face upscaling. Bravo for that. But that's not all. If somehow the face is still unsatisfactory upscaled, AIRT version 3 has now another lever to pull to get it even better. And that brings us to the second new improvement, which I think is the best new feature of this release, and that is facial restoration. Just like Topaz's face recovery, AIRT now includes a facial restoration model, which works in the same way, performing what I can only describe as digital plastic surgery to reconstruct a deformed face from badly compressed input. To demonstrate, let's work with this extremely challenging problem, made difficult not just by the poor 640 by 250 resolution, but also by the tiny dimensions of the face in this image. As you can see, upscaling with just the more detailed model results in a pretty distorted and unusable face. In the previous version, that's as much as we can hope for. However, in this new version, thankfully, we now have face restoration. I'll enable it. And just like that, it does a great job of restoring a completely malformed face to something much more presentable, a night and day result. So that's how face restoration works, 
let's look at some other examples comparing the results before and after face restoration. So as you can see, the results are not bad at all. Face restoration in version 3 can do magic on poorly formed faces. Do note though that as this technology seems to make use of generative AI, you might at times get some weird or unnatural results. In such cases, you might prefer to simply disable the feature. So there you have it, the improvements to AIRT Image Enhancer version 3. Do I think it is a meaningful improvement? Definitely yes. AIRT has done a good job remedying its weaknesses to become an even more solid alternative to Topaz for face upscaling. On the other hand, Topaz Photo AI 4 is coming later this year and it will be interesting to see which one will be the upscaling king when that time comes. So I hope you found this video helpful. By the way, if you are interested in getting AIRT Image Enhancer for free, as a thank you for supporting the channel, I'll be giving out two lifetime licenses of AIRT Image Enhancer courtesy of DGRT. Do check out the description for the giveaway rules. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of this update. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.